Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Today we got us a uh, Toro Sand Pro. It's a 3020 model. Uh, what these things are is for grooming sand pits on golf courses or infields on baseball fields. Uh, if you look here, it says Infield Pro or Sand Pro. It's the same unit, just a different attachment. Um, but uh, customer complaint is it's not charging the battery. So we're going to get into it and do some testing and find out why this thing isn't uh, charging. All right, y'all. This Sam Pro has a uh, Briggs and Stratton on it. Uh, it's different. I did work on a different one of these for him a uh, while back. This model actually has a V-twin Briggs and Stratton on it. So I went in and uh, downloaded the Briggs and Stratton Alternator Specifics or Specifications Manual. It's free from Briggs and Stratton, and it it actually has what you're going to need to diagnose. Um, gives your identity of uh, all the different alternators that they use: the single wires, two wire, diode ones, you know, two wires, everything. And then uh, it actually goes through and gives you really nice pictures of each setup. So, um, you know, the DC only, you know, does, does, does all of them. You know, I'm assuming, and I might make an ass of myself, but, uh, what I read in the Briggs and Stratton repair manual, I don't know what that was, just popped up, but uh, what I can, or I'm sorry, in the Toro repair manual, from what I can gather, it's going to be, doo, 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 doo. I think it's going to be uh, the dual, either the dual circuit, but this thing doesn't have lights, but it has provisions for auxiliary lighting um, or it's going to be let's see okay where'd my where'd my document go apparently my laptop's not keeping up with my browser here anyways um, it's going to either going to be a, a single circuit or a dual circuit uh, rectified or regulated system because it does have a voltage regulator on it so um, let's get over here on the machine and we will uh, get the covers off of it and start doing some testing all right y'all here's the setup we got we got the uh, two wire regulated there's the two wires coming from the stator here's the going into the voltage regulator and here's the one coming out um, I'm going to get set up and I'm going to show you guys how to test each segment of this and uh, we'll uh, go through it step by step. So give me a minute to uh, get the camera ready and uh, we'll start testing. Alright y'all, what we want to do here is we're going to come over here on the battery. We're going to get our base battery voltage 12.74. That's good. And then the wire going to the to the battery, which this one goes from here up to the key, and then to the battery. But uh, take your I'm gonna put my positive lead on that one. I'm gonna turn my key on and we're gonna go to ground. And we got 12.68, so we do have continuity through there. It is working. So uh, it's, it's good to go. So we know that that wire is good. We know that, uh, it is capable of char getting charged to the battery. So next thing we need to do is, uh, test the, whether the stator is putting anything out. Uh, so I'm going to get set up and, uh, we'll be ready to do that here in just a second. All right, y'all. I put a couple jumper wires back on that plug coming out of the stator. 
just so it's easy for you guys to see. Um, but we got our meter set up, so now we want to start it. y'all that confirms that that stator is putting zero voltage out now that is ac voltage it should have been somewhere right in the neighborhood of 20 but uh we have nothing uh, uh we can also go here and uh reconnect that up and we'll test the to see if the make sure we're still not getting anything from the you know in case our connection's bad there or something uh i'll show you how to test uh if that stator is working I'll show you how to test for the uh voltage regulator so let me get things switched around here and we'll show you that test all right y'all I got the stator wire plugged back into the rectifier, or regulator, whichever you want to call it. Now you can't not just test here. Uh, these, this, this particular one senses voltage and uh, will charge the battery as needed. Uh, it's not a constant charge, not a constant output. So you need to, I got a back probe here. Um, these things are cheap. You can pick them up, you know. Real easy. They got this is a nice one because it's got an alligator clip on one end, straight needle on the other side. If you want to do your own, you can get a uh, like a T-pin or something that nature and back probe it. So need to stick that back together and then take our probe, go in back here behind the wire, go back in there behind the wire. Yeah, easier on this side. Yep, easier on that side. Make sure you're getting in there good contact. And make sure your wire's not touching anything metal on the tractor itself or the engine itself. And you can see it's back feeding 12 volts to the regulator. So. Oh, that's really strange that thing says that we're charging it says we're putting out 14 volts huh I'm wondering we're gonna back probe those uh, wires coming from that stator and see if we're actually getting power from the stator because that's the only way we can get 14 volts that battery won't produce extra voltage so um, yeah, so I'm going to back probe that uh, stator there and see if we don't have something funky going on with a little wiring issue or something. So y'all hang out. I'll get that back probed and uh, we'll bring you back. y'all right, that's back probed into that stator I'm just wondering if that stator or if that connection was bad um, they brought it to me saying that it wasn't charging we're charging this thing is charging so um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna test and play with a little wire, couple wires here and there um, 
The only other thing I can think of is maybe the key switch had some water or something in it or wasn't a little corrosion because it does have to go through the key switch to get to the battery that maybe, uh, you know, yeah, this one's got me kind of swinging. So, hey, let's work for me because I was not looking forward to pulling this engine out. That stator's up under this housing here and there's a whole lot of stuff you got to take off this thing to get that engine out and get it uh get it to where we can pull that because you gotta pull the flywheel and everything off so all right so i'll bring you all back here if i find something actually got out my other meter and uh, hooked it onto the battery it's getting 14 volts charging just like it should that stator is getting between 20 and 22 volts coming out into the rectifier or regulator there um, I'm gonna call this and say it's it was just a bad connection of some sort when they when they replaced that regulator um, maybe the regulator did go bad on them originally and when they put the new one on, they didn't get something just right or whatever. And uh, when they're putting their connections in, but uh, it it's working now. So uh, I'm going to call them and tell them, hey, you know, this thing's, you know, good to go. Uh, I'm just going to charge them a diagnostic fee. And uh, yeah, this this is a, an easy one for me. Uh, because like I said, I don't have to pull that engine and stuff out of there, which I was not looking forward to. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy. So I'm gonna get things cleaned up here, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get to uh, get to going. All right, y'all. That's gonna do it for the Sam Pro here. Uh, we fixed the charging system. Uh, it was not working when it come in. I did check that. But uh, I think it was just uh, corrosion or something in one of the connections. We got it all cleaned out, uh, doing them probing and stuff like that. So she's, you guys seen it? It's charging. So we're going to call the owner and tell them it's done. Uh, they can come pick it up, or if they want me to deliver it off, I'll run it up to them and uh, drop it off. But uh, that's going to be it. So I hope you all uh, learned how to check your charging system on the Briggs & Stratton V-Twin engines. Um, fairly simple. Uh, you just got to remember that you do have to, you have to have those connections for that outgoing line to the battery, uh, or it will not, it won't, uh, it won't read a charge, uh, won't read it that it's charging. Um, uh, that maybe that's what they did. I don't know, but uh, anyways, it's gonna be it. Hope you hope you enjoyed it and. Uh, if you would, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, get all the notifications, everything we do. And uh, don't forget about the Sunday live stream, 7 p.m. Eastern time, every Sunday. So appreciate y'all and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one.